what is the purpose of qualitative research and why might you consider using a qualitative design or including qualitative methods in your study? That's what we're talking about in this video. Hi everyone, I'm Lee Hall from teachingacademia.com and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia to make your best impact. Today we are going to be talking about qualitative research and this is one in a series of videos on qualitative research and how to conduct it, what it is and how to do it well. Today we are talking about the purposes of qualitative research. So why do this at all? Or why would you want to take some of these ideas and incorporate them into a quantitative study to a, so you have a more mixed methods approach. Well, let's talk about sort of the three key things that qualitative research can do. First of all, qualitative research can help us understand phenomenon better, all right? It can under, help us understand um, why people behave the way they do. It can help us understand different cultures, different thought processes. It can help us really dive in and understand people's actions, decisions, um, et cetera. Um, the other thing that qualitative research can do is it, it often focus on the meaning that people make, right? How do people understand or interpret particular experiences? So for example, I do a lot of work in schools uh, with teachers and students. And so in this case, one of the things that I might be interested in is looking at how students make sense of the experiences that they're having in school and how they do or do not apply what they're learning um, what their teachers are teaching them, how they make sense of it and how they use it and why they do or do not do particular things with the instruction their teachers have provided them. Um, you can also describe, right? You can simply describe phenomena. Um, I did this a long time ago for my dissertation. I went into middle school classrooms and I found students that were considered to have reading difficulties and I described what it was like to be a student in that classroom. And I also worked to understand what it was like from their perspective. So you had this description of what was happening, right? What kinds of instruction were they being given? What kinds of things were they being asked to read? What kinds of assignments were they being given? And then how did they make sense of all of that, right? So I was really combining those two, all right? So it seeks to build an understanding of phenomena. It can be descriptive and describe the phenomena, and it can focus on how people are making meaning of that particular phenomena. Okay, it can do one, two, or all three of those things. Now, what are some examples of research questions? Okay, so first of all, um, with qualitative research, um, words like how, what, identify, describe, those are going to be key words that you're going to see show up in qualitative research questions. I'm going to give you three questions that I've used recently from my own research. Um, I do a lot of qualitative or mixed methods research. These are all qualitative questions. Um, the first one is why do youth and adults read digital interactive texts? Okay. I simply want to know why are teenagers and adults picking up particular kinds of books and engaging with them? Okay, I want to understand, right, why they do what they do. Um, and then within that study, I also asked what aspects of that experience do they find most appealing, right? So when they're reading these digital interactive texts, what are they liking about it? Now, obviously we're gonna talk about what they don't like about it. That's gonna be a counterpart to that question, even though it's not in there. Um, it's gonna naturally come up in um, my interactions with them. So we're gonna talk about, about both. And then a third example from a different study where I worked with teachers and had them do blogs in a uh, master's course that I taught, this question was, how does blogging help teachers examine connections between classroom practice and course content? So I wanted them to blog, and then I wanted them to think about what they were learning in the course, and I wanted them to think about what their classroom instruction looked like, and sort of think about how does blogging, this act of writing as a way to process what we're learning, how does it help you make sense of what you're learning in the course that you're taking and what you're doing in your classroom, right? So I am looking um, to really understand how blogging helps their learning and also how they make sense of what they're learning, all right? So those are some examples of types of research questions that would be qualitative research questions. All right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are new to qualitative research, I have a course on introductory, um, it's an introductory course to qualitative research methods. So if you're brand new to it or have very limited experience, 
this is the course for you. There's going to be a link to it in the show notes. Um, so take a look at it, see if it's something that, that will help you meet your goals. Otherwise, head on down to the comments and let's talk about questions you have about qualitative research, share your research questions, share your experiences. I look forward to hearing from you and helping you on your academic journey.